What is going on, guys? KNH Films here, and today I'm going to be answering one of uh, one of the comments on my new video, how to install Trove Mods. I'm going to be answering the question he asked me. I'm not going to read it exactly, but I can tell you roughly what it said. Um, he asked, "How do you get um, uh, your Trove to show?" your uh, DMG while you're playing so like while I'm you're attacking someone numbers will pop up um, actually we'll just go and show you real quick because I'm bad with words we'll just go and whatever we don't need anything special but I recently found this and I was really excited because um, I never really knew total how much damage I did. And so you see those numbers popping up everywhere. That's that's what he was asking about. And honestly, it's really easy. It's not a mod. It's actually a setting. So if you go just to settings, you go to miscellaneous, and you just go to show combat numbers, and then accept. It'll work for you. But that's not all I'm doing in this video. Um... I'll actually give a shout out to the winner of um, the Trove giveaway. It is DJ, where is he? DJ Foxes or Foxes. He won the giant Fey Panda mount. So congrats to you. Um, and I'm also going to be doing a couple things. Um, so there's this plays and I'm going to show you guys for all you new players out there I'm going to show you guys how to um, some tips and tricks that you can use uh, you know that other trove like that trove doesn't really necessarily teach you you just kind of have to know so um and actually in my club world if you join my club you can come here it's called the noob hut I believe yeah noob hut basically it's got a bunch of signs in it and uh, shout out to Scythe Plays. He is. What the? Okay, the sign is gone. We need to make that again. Um, all this stuff, not the trophies, but all the information in this tent was made by Scythe Plays. Um, so give him a great big shout out. Um, so yeah, basically, these are the ones I was going to teach you about. These ones are just, you know, general stuff that you just need to know this stuff actually does something for you so we'll start with emotes so obviously in chat you can type these so like slash pose shows off your wings here so that's kinda cool slash ZZZ you know you fall asleep sleeping right there slash sit you know sit down <laughs> uh, wave there's a couple more laugh shrug and then I believe the last one is dance a lot of people like oh there's one more cry forgot about that one he's so sad oh didn't get his 10 dragon caches all right now this one I actually don't know I know that when you press F7 it gets rid of the HUD so you can actually take good screenshots but this slash screenshot doesn't work for me like I can't find the screenshots after so what I do is I get rid of the HUD with F7 and then I use F12 to take a steam screenshot because I can get those all right this is this is cool so if you type slash retro mode it basically turns it into like a Game Boy looking thing and so this is kind of fun to play in um, it brings down your lag a bit um, but yeah, you just type slash, you can't even read that. You just type slash retro mode again to turn it off. Just goes right back to that. Okay, DND. So DND is 
basically no one can um uh you you don't get invites from people and um whispers no whispers so it's basically you know D, &D stands for do not disturb but yeah it's very useful if you're popular i'm not very popular so i'd never i never use it but yeah um slash welcome and slash tutorial okay not a lot of people know about this slash welcome that's people know about that one just brings up the welcome page where you know shows what you can get in chaos chests and top deals and stuff like that but slash tutorial not a lot of people know about this one if you do slash tutorial it will actually load you in to the original tutorial mode that way you can go and like fish for uh, the rare fish here all that good stuff so yeah this is kind of cool um so yeah like there's places there's lava lava's over there but like um there's actually rare fish you can catch in the tutorial mode unique to the tutorial mode so like here's one place you can fish and then way up here lava right here where you can fish for stuff and I have the I have the chaos rod on right now. Let's see if we can get something good. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it, Kigurumi. Oh my goodness, fishing is so boring. Oh hey. I got an uncommon fish. Well, anyways, there you go. That's how that works. I think there's a boss down here. Is there a boss down here? There is. Hello. Oh, hey. Thunder. Darn it. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Let's see. There was one more. Oh. Oh, okay. So when you're like, um, so let's say you're on trade chat. And for those of you who don't know, if you do slash join space trade, you'll join this trade chat. And this is basically people saying, you know, willing to sell, willing to trade, willing to buy, and then their item or how much flux they want to pay for it. So like that, that red chat right there, willing to sell thrice or willing to trade thrice for two neon souls. That, um... That's what that's what I'm talking about when um, they have trade, and so you're always going to be whispering people when you're in trade chat. You don't just say it in trade chat because you know when you whisper somebody, um, what's it called? Uh, when you whisper somebody, it's purple, and so what you can do is so you can so let's say you just whispered Zuera man, that guy in the the yellow. You can do slash R. I haven't whispered anybody, but it'll basically uh, pull up a whisper tab for that person, that specific person, the last person you whispered. Instead of you know you have to push up on the arrow and delete all the stuff you just typed, or you have to type slash whisper space zero arrow man. You don't you don't want to do that. And so then another thing you can do. So like let's say um, you want to. Oops. So like let's say I type in slash whisper and then tab if you push tab it will actually uh, cycle through people you've whispered recently um, so that's kind of cool it's useful um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try and keep this episode pretty short so I won't uh, go through all of these but one thing that is useful and i didn't know this for a very long time um if you have so if you break a chest and there's like three items you can actually hold down e instead of individually pressing e on them to pick them up you can hold them down you can hold down e and it'll pick up everything in the area in a in the short area so that's kind of cool because i didn't <laughs> i didn't know that and then when i actually went to the noob tent in your noob hut in scythe plays world I saw that and I was like, wow, I feel stupid. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, 
I guess I'll just say this, rate, comment, subscribe, like this video, and comment down below uh, what you want to see more of, um, any new games that we're not playing. I think we might start playing Splatoon. Um, it looks like a pretty fun game, so I might try to start playing that. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I'll put my referral link into the description box below. If you're under Master Rank 30, you can refer me, and um, if I get 30 people to refer me, I think I have zero right now. I don't think I have any, but um, it'd be cool to be able to get that dragon, the flying, the flying uh, referral link dragon. So if you guys could could refer me if you're under Master Rank 30, that'd be amazing. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all I got for you guys. And like I already said, I said all the stuff that you're supposed to say at the end of the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Like this video, all that stuff. Oh. See you guys later.